guys, welcome back to CUDA Software. Now we're going to be graphing linear inequalities on the Algebra 1 section. So our directions for the entire worksheet are to sketch the graph of each linear inequality. How do you graph linear inequalities? You first graph the equation and then you s plot, then you graph the line. Make sure to see if it's so dotted or is a solid line. And then you shade in the right position. So here, let's first graph the equation. <clears throat> so that's y equals three, negative three x plus four. So same thing like we graph linear equations. We're going to find the y-intercept and plot that. So y-intercept is four, so right there. And then the slope is negative three, so we're gonna go down three, one, two, three, and over one, and get our first point. Again, let's go down three, one, two, three, and over one, and get our next point. Now, we need to be careful. If it's a greater than sign or a less than sign, then we have to do a dotted line like that for the graph. But if it's a greater than, equal to, or less than, or equal to, you put a solid line. So since this is a greater than or equal to, we're going to draw this with a solid line. Like that. Now that we got our lines based on the symbol and we graphed our equation, let's shade in the correct position. Now make no, when it says greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, any points on this line is a solution. It's one of the solutions. If it's a dotted line, then any of those points on the line is not a solution to the inequality. So we first need a test point. So let's pick any point. Let's say 2, 1. Now we need to plug 2, 1 and see if it's true, x and y, in our inequality. So, two and one. So, if one, I'm gonna do equation. So, we need to figure out, is one, so it's symbols, is one greater than or equal to negative six, which is negative three times two plus four, is this right? Is one greater than equal to negative six plus four? Yes. What that means is we shade in that region on this side over here. So drawing, we're gonna go here and shade over here in this position right here. And it includes, I'm not shading, no, well, but it includes every point on this line and so that's just a shade that's anything on this side and touching the line is a solution to the inequality that's our solution in number one I'm just gonna erase all these real quick All right, number two, we have the graph y is less than or equal to 3 fifths x minus five. Let's find the y-intercept first and plot that. It's at negative five, so let's go down to negative five. And we're going to go up three and over five, which gets our point. Now, since we're not going to plot any more points, we're going to go off the graph. Let's connect these points. These points. Like that. Now we need to figure out where to shade. So we need to do a little test point. Let's test. Hmm. So let's test the point over here. Let's say 1, 1. Just do that. Simple. So it was 1 less than or equal to three-fifths 
times 1 minus 5. Is this right? Let's see. So 1 is less than or equal to 3 fifths times 1 is simply 3 fifths minus 5. This is correct. This is going to give us is 1 less than or equal to, well, no, is 1 less than or equal to a negative number? Nope. So that we don't shade anything up here. Instead, we shade down here in this area since it's not correct. So we shade right here in this area. Anything on the line is a solution as well. So that's where we shade in the second problem. Number three, we're going to graph the equation y inequality, y is greater than negative x minus five. So let's plot our equation first. So y intercept is negative five, so we're gonna plot that. And our slope is negative one, so we're gonna go down one and over one. Let's go up one and to the left one. And then our point's gonna go here, here, here. You can do as much points as you want. But, so here, let's connect our points. So y is greater than, so instead of putting a solid line, we're going to put our dash line. like that, a dash line for the inequality. And now let's test point. Let's pick the point, mm, let's say uh, one, one again. I'm just gonna try something simple. So is one greater than negative one minus five? This is indeed true. One is greater than negative six. So we are going to shade, and let's test again on the bottom just to see. Let's test negative three, negative three. So it's negative three greater than three minus five. No, negative three isn't greater than negative two, so we have to shade up anything on this line but not including the points on the line is our solution. Anything is a solution to our inequality. I'm just gonna put this as there. So anything over here to all the way up here, anything of these is our solution to this inequality. Now that's our answer in number three. Number four, here we just plot a constant. Y is greater than negative four. Here we don't need to worry about any slope intercept form. Here we don't have a slope. So we're just gonna plot Y is greater than, so I have to use a dotted line, negative four. So we're gonna plot on the Y axis, negative four, I'm gonna put that in black, so negative four. And then we're gonna draw our line. We're not gonna draw a vertical line on the y-axis. It's a horizontal line. And it's gonna be dotted because it's obviously greater than. Now that's a graph of y is greater than negative four, but now we need to shade. Let's test the point one, one again, just to see if it's right. Well, here we don't have an X, so you don't plug in any X. So just put one as the Y. So one is greater than negative four. Is this true? Yes, we can shade here, but let's test a bottom point. How about two negative five? Y is negative five, and it looks like negative five isn't greater than negative four. So where do we shade? We will shade anything up in this section, oops. Anything up in this section above the line. In 
anything up here. Just anything up here is a solution. Anything down here isn't a solution or on the line. Next, y is greater than 2x minus 5. Let's draw our point. So we're going to go to negative 5. And then our slope is 2, so we're going to go up 2 over 1. Let's do another one, up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. And let's go again, up 2 over 1. Now, let's connect our graph with the straight. Not a straight line, make sure you look for that. It's a dotted line, since it's greater than. Let's test point. So let's test some points. Let's say here, let's try two negative one. So it's negative one. It's negative one greater than four minus five. No, negative one isn't greater than negative one. So that means we don't shade here. Let's test, we tested a point on the line. Let's test a point outside of the line. Let's try one, one. So here is one greater than two minus five. Yes. And let's try a point below the line. Let's try three, negative two. So is negative two greater than three times two is six minus five. It's one. No, this is not true. So we have to shade up here. Now let's draw it. We shade anything up here in this section. Drawing that, make sure it's not dotted. I was dotted. All right, so now anything up here, up here, up here, up here, up here, anything is our solution. Just seeing how many problems, there's 12. So in this part one, we're gonna finish one through six, and then the next video I'll do seven through 12. So our last problem for part one, y is greater than or equal to seven fourths x plus two. Let's plot our graph of the equation. So our y-intercept is two, so at two, and then we are going to go up seven, it's gonna be like somewhere over there and then to the right. Instead, since we can go down, let's go down and left. So it's not, remember this part, when it's like this, it's negative, when it's like this, it's positive. So let's go down seven and over four. Now let's connect our point with the solid line just because it's a greater than or equal to. Now let's do a test point. Let's see anything up here in this region. How about negative three, one? We gotta find if negative three, one. Let's try. So is one greater than or equal to seven fourths times negative three plus two. Well, one is greater than or equal to seven fourths times three, which is negative 21 fourths plus two. And let's just do this, negative 21 fourths by four plus two. Yes, this is correct. What this means is we shade anything above this region. Anything up here, including on the line, is our solution to this inequality. Thanks for guys, thank you guys for watching. That is part one of graphing linear inequalities. And I'll see you in the next, I'll join you in for the next video for part two. Peace out.